Next, I'd like to uh, welcome warmly Jervin, our friend from Dapabet. And uh, we're going to talk about increasing the return of investments in user acquisition. How are you, Jervin? Hi, Mixu. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm uh, actually joining from Helsinki. And where are you joining from? Currently in uh, Manila, Philippines. Wow. So we have a true uh, global uh, conference going on here. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been using Frosmo and what do you use, uh, use Frosmo for? So um, Frosmo, uh, I remember this uh, story specifically. Um, started using Frosmo uh, in February of 2015. <laughs> Uh, wow. about yeah more than six years ago so um, I was just new into the uh, iGaming industry at that time and um, my manager said that um, we're planning to get Frosmo or to use Frosmo see what you can do with it and I just said okay great and I didn't know what Frosmo was back then um, <laughs> so it, it was a it, it was a weird task for me but um, you know, um, at the time, uh, in the websites, being able to do something uh, on your site outside of the CMS, uh, it's sort of unheard of, and um, it's a bit templated. You're always boxed into this uh, specific uh, uh, models uh, that the CMS has given you. Um, so um, everyone sees the same thing. But then, um, with us, with with uh, with Frosmo, uh, we were able to use our own. We can use you can use your own template if you want to. So uh, in our case, we use Frosmo to to highlight our promotions, uh, our various campaigns, uh, split testing, multivariate testing, uh, and even adding certain features in our website. Fantastic! That's a really nice and good story. <laughs> <laughs> so. What have you achieved with, with us and uh, what do you think have been the main benefits from customer experience and conversion optimization perspective? Now, um, with Prosmo, uh, I always say this to, to the guys. Uh, it's always uh, about time and speed with Prosmo. More than the personalization that um, is given uh, with, with using the Prosmo software. Um, you can't replicate the time and the speed that uh, Frosmo delivers. Now, uh, as part of the marketing team and having a marketing background uh, before I transition to user experience, um, our team is always eager to try new things. You know, we always have lots of ideas on the back of our mind. But um, given the the, the developers um, uh, swamped with projects uh, every time. Now, Frosmo gives us the capability and, and the flexibility to to do what we want in our website, not just uh, relying on uh, internal development. So um, with Frosmo, we, we target customers specifically uh, based on the segments that we set. So uh, you can think about anything, even the language they use, how many times they went to the site, how, uh, how many got back, whatever you can think of. Uh, it's a gem for for marketing people like me. Fantastic! That's that's super nice to hear. Awesome! Thank you. What about loyalty? Have you have you done something around it? Loyalty. Um, for customer loyalty, it's a uh, it usually requires a, a delicate balance because um you have to work with the different product teams on uh how you want to, to promote this. You can't just give out promotions every time that uh, um, uh, you get cost loyal customers. If you have long-time customers, uh, we know that we want to satisfy them, want to give them the best of everything. But uh, in a business perspective, uh, you have to balance it uh, perfectly. But um, in terms of loyalty, VIPs, et cetera, uh, one key thing that they want, of course, is the service and the exclusivity that uh, they get. So with Frosmo, uh, we'll be able to target this one. So we know when a player is coming in, how long they've been with us. Uh, that's aside from the internal database that we have. So with that, uh, we know where they specifically play to, 
whether it's desktop, mobile, which which device they use, and uh, we can specifically target campaigns at the right time. That's really great to hear. Awesome. So you mentioned that this uh, time and speed is really really important for you guys. So <laughs> you've used us for customer experience development. Is there anything yes. you, uh, you could share with us about it? <laughs> this was actually, uh, I think, back in 2017, if, if uh, I'm not mistaken. <laughs> uh, it, it was a hell of a month uh, back then. Um, so we had a software that uh, we wanted to launch or put out immediately uh, on our website. But um, yeah, we can do the marketing stuff in uh, newsletters, uh, sending out messages to, to our customers. But then you want to have something special on the website. You want to have some something different. <laughs> uh, well, I, again, as I mentioned earlier, with CMS, you're sort of you're you're sort of locked in on what you can do. Mm. Now, um, with 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 nowhere to go because, um, again, as I've mentioned, our developers are always swamped with with projects lined up. We can't uh, get in uh, in front of the line uh, in terms of their development. So. What we did is that we approached you guys. <laughs> so with, uh, I think, uh, only two weeks notice from the product conceptualization to the design, uh, the journey of uh, the planning of the customer journey and up to the implementation on the website, uh, you, were, you were able to deliver. Uh, more than that one, um, I think around 69, uh, 60 or 69% of, uh, that software downloads that we wanted to promote came from that Frosmo modification. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Because uh, with, without without that modification, I think uh, our targets, uh, we won't be able to meet our targets back then and um, the launch or, or at least the, the, the push would be delayed for, for around a month. <laughs> oh, so wow. yeah, time to market. Uh, it's really uh, what you guys give us. That's, that's great to hear. Thanks. What about, uh, are there any new uh, Frosmo use cases that uh, you'd like to uh, explore next? Um, there's a lot of things uh, that uh, we have. Um, but, um, well, for, for six years, I think uh, somehow we've scratched the surface on uh, what Frosmo can really do for us. <laughs> of course, there will always be uh, limitations. Uh, Internally, uh, with uh, with a uh, collaboration with, with Frosmo, but um, with with uh, Frosmo, uh, I would like to to have a more ML driven uh, content or, or use case, so that um, instead of uh, us man manually pushing content to to our customers, we would like to you know uh, more of a higher level uh, strategic uh, thinking. And uh, with that ML driven content or, or models, um, we'll be able to free up some time for us to, to strategize better rather than always uh, cramming and uh, pushing the, uh, the content to the site manually. Yeah, the content treadmill, as you would say. <laughs> exactly. Treadmill all the time. Yeah, that's, that's good. Really nice. What about any uh, other new development wishes or initiatives you, you guys have on your roadmap? Um, one thing that I always uh, instill uh, within our team is that um, we should always uh, and continuously uh, test, always do split testing, multivariate testing, um, always try to, to disrupt or uh, do something different because um, even your customers might get bored <laughs> with with uh, what your site looks like. So even small changes, uh, like different changes in the sections of the website, uh, doesn't have to be a, a major uh, revamp of, of a website, but something new, something to keep them excited. So that's that's those are the main things that um, we're looking forward to. And um, more on the UI changes, uh, more on we wanna we wanna focus on marketing uh, at the right time, at the right player. So just to give you an example, uh, for sports betting, what can we do if um, 
this player has uh, scored a specific uh, has scored a goal at a specific time. What what can we do to to boost uh, 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 a promotion or something in their website? So that's what we're looking forward to. Wise words, really good. All right, thank you, Jervin. That was really insightful. Thank you. Really, uh, really great, uh, great comments and thoughts there, and uh, vast experience.